Hello guys and welcome to the video. In today's video we're going to talk about how to upload high quality YouTube videos. So I've done a lot of tutorials about Instagram, TikTok and how to upload high quality videos to these platforms but I never did one about the platform that I mostly use and that is YouTube. So today I'm going to show you how to upload YouTube videos without losing quality. So let's begin. First of all, we're going to divide this into a couple of steps. First, how to record your video, then how to transfer your video to your PC, how to set the right sequence for your video, how to export your video, and at the end, how to upload your video to YouTube. So let's start with the first step. So the first step is how to record your video. Unlike all other social platforms, YouTube has no restrictions in terms of resolution and frame rate. But of course, uh, a resolution than less than 1080p should be avoided because for many years now, no one has uploaded a video in less than 1080p. For the frame rate, you can record in whatever frame rate you want. Now it's time to transfer your videos to your PC. Like in every other video, I'm gonna stop here and emphasize this step. So it's really important to know that if you're transferring your videos from a DSLR camera to your PC, you will be fine. But if you're transferring your videos from a phone to your PC, you should do that via cable or by using a platform like Google Drive or Dropbox. Don't use social media platforms, not even email to transfer your videos because they're going to lose their original quality and you're ruining your video before even starting. After you transfer your videos to your PC, it's time to put them in the editing software and the right sequence. For this video, like always, we are going to use Premiere Pro. Uh, after you create a new project in Premiere Pro, go to the Media tab, right click, New Item and then Sequence and a new window will pop up. So here we have a lot of templates we can choose but it doesn't really matter because we are going to change its settings anyway. So let's say go with AVC HD. 1080p and then AVC 1080p 25 and go to settings. Now here in the settings you can create the sequence the way you want. I usually record my videos in 1080 by 1920 which is 1080p and at 25 frames per second. Uh, you should choose these settings according to your video and if you have a little experience you should know this before even starting to record but if you don't you can easily check that by going on the video, right click, properties, details, and there you have your information. So now it's time to start changing things in here. The first thing we're going to change is the editing mode. So this is the template we chose before. So we chose this template, but this template doesn't allow us to change the frame size, which is the resolution. So what we're going to do, we're going to click here on the drop down menu, scroll all the way up and click on custom. And now we can change every setting possible. For the time base, which is the frame rate, we're going to keep it on 25 because as I said, I record my videos in 25 frames per second. In the video tab, for the frame size, we're going to keep the same because I record my videos in 1080p. And all these other settings for pixel aspect ratio, fields, display format, working color space are going to stay the same. Uh, the same applies to the audio, 48,000 hertz and a display format audio samples. The only two things we can change here are these two little checkboxes for maximum bit depth and maximum render quality. If you have a good PC, it's good to check them. Uh, it doesn't going to make a really big difference, but if you want the highest quality possible, you should check them. So I'm going to check both of them here. And the last thing we're going to do is going to click here on save preset so we can save this preset so we can have it for later. Let's name it YouTube and click here on OK. And it should appear at the bottom of our presets. Yep, there it is. And now it's time to create our sequence. For the sequence name put, let's say, YouTube high quality and click OK. Now we have created our sequence and it's time to put a video in it. If you have done all the settings the same as the recorded video, nothing is going to happen and that means that everything is perfect. But if you get a pop-up window clip mismatch warning, that means that your video doesn't match the sequence settings. And you get two options, to change the sequence settings or to keep the existing settings. What to do now? Uh, if you want to be perfect, you can check the settings of your video and create a new sequence according to that. Or you can just click on keep existing settings and the video will adapt to the newly created sequence settings. It's not going to make a big difference but it made me notice in some occasion. So always match your sequence settings with your video settings to make sure you keep the best quality possible for your video. 
After you put your video in the right sequence, it's time to edit it. I'm not going to show you how to edit your video because that's another topic and then depends on your type of video. Uh, but let's say that you edited your video, you're happy with it and now it's time to export it. Now it's time to export which is the most important step. But before we start exporting, make sure to select the part that you want to export. Because it happened to me that a 3 minutes video became 20 minutes video, a 17 minutes of black screen at the end. So always make sure to select your video and then go to file, export and then media. And a new window will pop up. So here we have a format. Always make sure that the format is H264. For the preset, you can choose any preset you want, let's say high quality 1080p. And uh, if you're a beginner, this is all right because this is going to make all the settings for you. But if you want the best quality possible, we should make the settings ourselves. So let's continue. The output name, this is not just the name of your file, but it's the location of your file. So always click on it, choose where you want to save your video, name your video and then click save. Now let's go down to basic video settings. So here we have the resolution of our video. If it's not right, you can uncheck this box and change your resolution. For us, it's okay, so we're going to make it checked. All the other settings uh, below, you can do the same, uncheck them, uh, change it, and then check it again. And the last thing we need to make sure that this checkbox for render and maximum depth is checked. Now, let's go down to encoding settings, and here, uh, if you have a good PC, uh, go for the hardware encoding. If not, software is going to do just fine. For me, I'm going to go with software because I have a laptop. Uh, profile, uncheck this box. This is really important for the highest quality. And instead of main, select high. Now, uncheck this level here. And instead of 4.1, put 5.2. But be careful. If you have your basic video settings unchecked, uh, this will make a change here because Premiere thinks that this uh, level it's meant for a bigger resolution video. So always make sure you have this box checked before you change the profile level. Now we can skip everything else and go down to bitrate settings, which is the most important step. So here we have bitrate encoding and we have three options, CBR, VBR one pass and VBR two pass. And what's the difference? CBR is a constant bitrate and VBR is a variable bitrate. For videos, I always choose VBR. But which VBR, one pass or two pass? If you're in a rush and you want to export your video quickly, VBR one pass should get you a decent quality video. This will go once through your sequence and export it as it is. But if you want the highest quality possible, go for VBR two pass. This will go two passes to your video. One to analyze the sequence and the second one to execute the compression. So if you have a lot of quick changes and changes in the light, it's going to make everything much smoother. Now the sliders. Target bitrate and maximum bitrate. Put the sliders all the way to the right and you will have the best quality possible, but also the file size will be huge. But there is no need to go above from what your camera can record. My camera can record up to 60 megabits per second, but there are also some other things that needs to be considered. The most important thing is the YouTube compression. So no matter how good of a quality video you upload, YouTube will compress it afterwards. You can go to Google and type YouTube encoding settings and there you can see the bit rates for different resolutions. For SDR 1080p video, 8 megabits per second are enough for 25 frames per second video. And for the HDR 1080p, 10 megabits per second are enough for a 25 frames per second video. If you choose a preset, YouTube 1080p, they suggest a VBR one pass at 16 megabits per second. But I would suggest to go for a VBR two pass and put the target bit rate at 16. Uh, for a 4K, you can go higher and that's basically it. So I'm gonna put uh, 16 on a both target and maximum bit rate. But there is one more thing that I need to mention because some of you might not get the quality that they want even with this setting. So uh, if you're just starting out a new YouTube channel, no matter how good of a quality video you upload, if your video is in 1080p, it will look bad because of the coded compression. Uh, I have a full video on that topic. You can check that video somewhere here uh, if you want to understand more about it. And the last thing to do here is to make sure that this box for use maximum render quality is checked. 
and you can just click export or you can Q, uh, click Q if you want to transfer your video to media encoder and uh, edit something else in Premiere Pro but for this video I am going to click export and we are basically done after your video is done rendering it's time to upload it on YouTube so go to your YouTube channel click on this plus icon here and click on upload video in this new window just click here choose your video click open and your video will start uploading now here you have to put your title description thumbnail but there that is another topic for another video and that's basically it that's how to upload youtube videos without losing quality i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to like it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos like this one until then peace